What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the content schedule for this week in Mutt 23 and also how you can prepare for part two of the Backyard Ballers promo. Now, if you guys enjoy this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Shows a lot of support on the channel, helps the videos get noticed. Also, if you're brand new here, you were searching on YouTube for Mutt 23 content, whether it's how to make coins, how to get free players, how to build your ultimate team, you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell out as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it so i want to start with just a quick reminder we are halfway through the current competitive pass and that means that we did get brand new statistical objectives and they are still kind of broken in a sense i mean you can still achieve them you can still go after them and complete them but they had this thing last week where there was one ob objective available in like week two and then four objectives available in week one. Well, this week it's the reverse and you know, EA just doesn't clear to care to clean this up. Uh, I guarantee if this was a method to make coins or some type of glitch that benefited us, it would have been fixed in a heartbeat, but it's not. So, you know, it, it is what it is at this point. It's May, but I just wanted to point it out. Uh, you have until next Monday to knock out the 25 total touchdowns. And then the four other objectives are under week two. So if it looks weird to you, it's not only you, that's how it looks for everybody and with this field pass it is a good one you know i was away for the weekend in vegas so i haven't really had a chance to play the game a ton at all but you have one more week basically to grind it out and get to that exclusive reward which is going to be this 98 overall uh exclusive equinemius st brown six foot five wide receiver 98 stock speed really really good card so uh those are all of the objectives that were updated and of course you have everything else within this competitive field pass to grind for until next monday morning now, real quick, before we finish up the rest of the video and go over the content schedule, I just want to let you guys know about another site-wide special on Underdog Fantasy. It's for tonight's game and tonight only. LeBron James, over a half a point, guaranteed to hit. You can add this to any pick -em slip if you're in a state where it's available. This special line is going to give you an increased chance at cashing out. You can add it to a slip with tonight's NBA games. If you want to mix it in with tonight's baseball games, you can do that as well. I'll be posting my picks over on Twitter, and guys, don't forget forget if you sign up make sure you use code pop under the promo code or username section they will double your first deposit up to $100 so if you want to start out with $10 they'll give you a $10 free to play with if you want to start with 50 they'll give you 50 free to play with good luck if you're playing tonight let me know who you're rocking on your slips down below in the comment section now let's go ahead and take a look at the content schedule for this week and boom here it is and there's not really much to go over or to look at only two promos this week obviously we're towards the end here of mutt 23 i'm really really surprised that we don't see golden tickets on this list at all i thought for sure they would be coming this week i'm guessing now it's going to be next week and i don't believe backyard ballers is a three-part promo so after this ends on thursday i don't know what to expect after that the main promos that we have to look forward to are obviously golden tickets and rookie premiere and that's really it but you know i'm hoping that they sneak something else in there and obviously we have ultimate legends that will continue to go remember last week was the end of weekly wild card so that's not going to be on the list and also gmm essentially is over as well as far as the backyard baller reveals i don't think that we're going to be seeing a stream this week because it's not on this schedule so i would assume that at some point wednesday night probably 7 p.m eastern time they will send out a tweet with all of the reveals for back Backyard Ballers part number two. And I did want to take some time out in this video to just talk about preparing for part two. So of course we have the field pass where you can grind for free rewards and there's a bunch of 97 overall cards that you can get for free. I'm hoping that like the third and fourth pack within that field pass updates with the new 97s that we will likely get. But if you want to prep or pre-build and get ready for the 99 overall cards, you can do that right now. And I'm not saying it's worth doing that, but if you want to, you know, not take that risk or I guess really you'd be taking a risk doing it so you can unlock these cards as soon as they come out i mean it's pretty straightforward right the 99 overalls from part one you needed 397s to build them out so if you wanted to build them out right now but save the cards and save them for part two you're looking at like on average it looks like about 230k for each 97 if you total that all up you'd be looking at about 690k wouldn't be a bad idea over the next maybe 48 hours to try to snipe these cards or catch them for the lower 200s and when you build out those 99 sets for 
for part two, just like part one, you're going to get three 97s back in return. Let's hope that the 99s in part two are a lot better than part one because, you know, some of them were decent. Harold Carmichael, I tried the card out before I left for Vegas. It was pretty terrible. Jordan Love was a solid card, and that's really it. Like, I don't think any of these other 99s were good. The LTDs, the Chad Johnson wasn't a terrible card, but I really hope that the 99 overalls in part two of this promo, which is such a fun promo last year, are a lot better. Along with part two of this promo, we should see more solo challenges, more objectives within the Backyard Ballers Field Pass, which will eventually earn you the XP and let you max this thing out. Hopefully we get an answer to what this Conqueror's Quest token can be used in. I mean, if you read the description, it basically just says that you'll be able to uh, take on the Concrete Conquerors. My guess is you'll take the token, put it into some, you know, like game mode that lets you play against the CPU, and if you beat them, you get some type of free reward hopefully it's something good and worth it we'll find that information out likely on part two uh, and then you do get a bunch of 97 overall cards i mentioned this earlier the first one at level 10 i'm assuming a lot of you have probably already earned this and if you're about to earn it we did drop a video going over the best 97s to choose out of this pack but you get additional ones at level 13 and then a little bit further down here at level 18 and eventually level 21 if you're close to either the level 18 one and i don't know how far you can get if you max out all the xp right right now uh, but if you're close to the level 13 or 18 i would pump the brakes if you can and try to wait until after part two comes out because then this pack and i'm not saying it will for sure but could potentially update and contain the new 97 overall cards from part two and the part one had some decent ones but hopefully part two brings some better ones so if you go over to the you know the challenges section you're more than likely going to see more star rewards here that give you xp they'll usually update the stat section sets probably won't change hopefully we get more house rules goals and also the same thing with the head-to-head -head slash solo battle section and again speaking of house rules it's really only good for xp within that field pass there won't be any additional rewards added on here but you still have nine days with this house rules and if you look at the current rewards it's basically coins and 92 plus packs if you start to earn these very slim chance that you do get an ltd but your best bet is to not open these up until after part two launches on thursday as well because we will likely see two more 99 overall ltds from this program going back over to the schedule on saturday we got ultimate legends and that's going to consist likely of 299 overall set legends and then 299 ltds if you've been playing through your solo challenges and earning those ultimate legend to tokens you might be up to a chance at 125 to unlock one of the brand one brand new ones for free and they've been fairly expensive as soon as they come out so you got a chance to cash them in for a really really good player or you have a chance to cash them in for a good player and sell that card and turn that into a million coins or somewhere close to that amount uh so that is it i mean not really much else to go over we got backyard ballers we got ultimate legends hopefully golden ticket soon i wouldn't expect rookie premiere for at least another month and will they sneak in another promo or two fan appreciation could be something that we see very soon we should see it very soon in my opinion because uh, the month 23 year is pretty much over salute to you if you're still watching my videos salute to you if you're still playing the game and uh yeah that's all we got for this video thank you for watching my name is popular stranger and i'm out peace